Indonesian woman caned 100 times for adultery. On January 13th, a man and a woman were publicly flogged for the quote-unquote crime of adultery in the Acha province of Indonesia. Uh, the couple was caught back in 2018 at a palm oil plantation where the man was allegedly, quote, showing affection to a female partner who is not his wife. Acha is the only province in Indonesia where sh Sharia law is maintained as part of a 2005 autonomy deal made with the central Indonesian government. Based on Sharia, both of them were penalized with public lashings. The man, who refused to confess to the accusation, received only 15 lashes, while the woman, who did confess, received an overwhelming 100. Human rights groups and even Indonesia's president, Joko Widodo, or Widodo um, condemn public lashing as cruel and have called for it to end. However, the local population of Acha strongly supports such punishments. That is insane. That is insane. I've seen people passed out from the pain from these lashing, uh, lashing in Acha. Yeah, but, uh, like, I, yeah. She reportedly like had to take a break, um, because of obviously like the pain. Um, to receive one hundred in one sitting is insane. It's insane. Yeah. I've, I've even Saudi Arabia breaks them into like fifty. And then waits for a couple of months and then gives you another 50 or something like this. These they even break being... it down even less than that sometimes. Yeah, I've heard I've heard break them break down to like 25 in a day and then waiting a couple of months and then give you another 25 or something like that. So I've never heard of like doing a hundred in one day. That's insane. These yeah. these hurt a lot, by the way. Like I've being seen people pass up. hurts. You don't even have to get hit that bad, like that hard for it to yeah. really hurt, especially across the back. Um, so Puya, Puya's question is important, actually. Yeah. Puya is saying, wait, was the man receiving less lashes because he was a man or because he didn't confess? It's because he didn't confess. He was, I don't know what happened when there was the investigation into this incident, but they got the confession out of the woman, so she had to serve the full punishment. But he never confessed. It was originally going to be like 30, and then he appealed and got it down to 15. Yeah, somebody in Twitch is saying uh, actually loves interpretation. Yeah, actually, this is very compare. It's very interesting. Like um, the Ach the state of is it state or is it province in uh, Aceh? Aceh is a province. It's a province. Yeah, the province of Aceh for, to Indonesia, it's like the state of Uttar Pradesh to India. Very, but I mean, I mean, well, I mean, Uttar to Pradesh, be fair, I don't know if they do corporal punishment. Yes, in Uttar Pradesh. So, I mean, yeah, no, really, yeah, I'm just saying, like, as in, in, in the sense that they're the worst religious uh, parts of that country. But this shows how, uh, as bad as um, India is, it shows how much more barbaric Islam could get relative to Hinduism, right? Like, we don't have anything like this in India, right? Um, and again, this is the this is Indonesia, the, the supposedly most moderate. One, one of the most moderate progressive Islamic countries in the world. Like this, Indonesia and Malaysia are, uh, are often cited as, a, as example, examples of how progressive and modern um, and not barbaric Islamic countries could be by people like Reza Aslan, right? In, right? So like in one of, yeah, in, so look at this, uh, in one of them, this is the punishment in Aceh, in Indonesia, which is supposed to be one of the most progressive moderate Islamic countries in the world. This is the punishment for adultery, right? And so imagine, you know, the, the rest of the Islamic world, like the ones that like Saudi Arabia and Iran, right? Um, but again, so the most moderate of Islamic countries, right? Relative to the worst, the most aggressively Hindu province in the world, which is Uttar Pradesh, it's still the Islamic one is worse yes you know when it comes to practice i like, mean this is don't how... get me wrong the indian police they do 100 percent torture people that's well known but that's yeah but illegal. not by government that's illegal yeah, that's it's illegal. not sanctioned yeah. by the state as something you can yeah. be sentenced with it's, it's a it's huge difference 
I mean, it's, it, people might argue like, well, it doesn't make much of a difference for for the person <laughs> that is receiving all the pain, you know, and all the punishment, right? Uh, but it still makes it a, a, like if something is sanctioned by the government, the it, it becomes a lot more normalized and accepted and legitimate, you know what I mean, than something that the mob does it. I mean, again, even if the mob does it, it's still extremely horrible. But I think the, the it, it means. I think it does mean something when it's officially been sanctioned by the government. And this has been, right? Like, you can yeah, never imagine, different. as much as we criticize Uttar Pradesh, you could never imagine the state, you know, in Uttar, of Uttar Pradesh coming out and caning somebody for anything. Like, you know, like, it's, it's unimaginable. Like, you can see how different things are. By the way... Yeah, there's no part yeah. of the penal code where you can be sentenced to something like this. Yeah, yeah. So as much as we criticize India, it's still far, far ahead of Islamic countries. Far ahead of Islamic countries. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Anything you want to highlight in the live chat? Um, Rudrush is saying, Reza Aslan, LOL. I used to believe that guy's BS once. <laughs> yes. Um... All right, that guy. What happened to him? This he is pissing me off. Hindutva Susanna is saying, "My heart goes out to my Indonesian sister who was once a Hindu." What? Do you what care you about humans if they don't have any relation to Hinduism? Like, do you actually just like care about people, or is it only self enlightened interest? This, like, I'm highlighting this because I want people to like see this attitude. This is insane. you don't care. Yeah, you don't care about people. You care about ideologies. You care about tribalism. This is so disgusting. Like this is how this is how you know religion and tribalism keeps humanity from progress. Because instead of actually genuinely caring about people, you're just caring about winning, being under your tribe, being ahead of. You know, it's about in defending who's in the you know who belongs in the group versus who's outside like i'm making an enemy of the people who are outside like this is like you don't genuinely care about people's experiences you just want to be on a winning team and that's why you defend people who are on, on your side oh my god are you serious do you want to highlight that i don't even know if we should this is ban gonna... worthy on our channel this kind of language is ban worthy on our channel no, no, no. I want. I want to. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to highlight it for people to see what the what kind of a, a disease we're dealing here. With. Like, look at, look at, how, look how disgusting this is, guys. Like, we don't even need to say much more. This is like, look at, look at what their ideology represents. We don't even need to like condemn it. We just like we because it's obvious. Like, we're just going to leave it there here on the screen for you guys to see. How, how disgusting this ideology is. We don't even need to add anything to this. Should we ban this person? Because we don't tolerate deep. No, 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 no. I want people, no, I want people, no, no. I want people to, I want these people to out themselves. Okay. I want, I want these people to out themselves. I want people, because if we keep saying that this is the way they, they think, a lot of people might think we're exaggerating. A lot of people might don't believe us. A lot of people might think like, oh, you have an agenda. Uh, to like misrepresent people and blah blah blah. So I want them to be here, and we could show how these people op operate, what they think. And, yeah, unbelievable. Thank. By the way, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, keep saying these things because thank you so much for making our job easier. Because we don't we don't know how to warn people because a lot of people don't believe us. We don't know how to do that. So you coming here and outing yourself makes it makes it easier for us to be able to warn others about how toxic your ideology is okay so this is what there's this is how they think okay so thank you thank you for making our thank you for make making it easy for us to use you as a way to warn everyone else all right yeah look at this Somebody saying you are overreacting. Really? We are overreacting to somebody unbelievable. You are underreacting. Do you know how dehumanizing that this dehumanizing, like these are, 
this is a language that is suggesting that certain people, because of their ideas, are they're not they're not human. Okay, in YouTube, this is not what I'm saying. I'm warning people about how you do you know what do you know historically what has been justified by dehumanizing an entire group of people? Do you know what that what the consequences of that way of thinking is? Do you know what kinds of things would be allowed when some when you dehumanize an entire group of people? This is the most toxic form of like I decision making this is the worst the worst argument the, the the greatest crimes in history has been made built upon these types of arguments how are there we overreacting when there are open calls for genocide against a population within a country and we see that exact attitude reflected and justified validated and legitimized in our own live chat like the stakes could not be higher there is no more dangerous way of thinking. Like there is no more dangerous ideology than what this person j just said. Like we are overreacting. Have you no understanding of history? And do you like, are you serious? Like you have to be so ignorant to not see the ramifications of like that kind of. Anyways. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.